Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Oh my God, it feels like I filmed this video like last month. I think actually it was. But after filming my last um, empty videos, I just started emptying products. Surprisingly, a lot of them. So I thought that I would film another empty videos with all the products that I've used up and tell you what I think about them. So if you're interested, interested to see that, then please keep on watching. I want to apologize for my hair looking this ugly. I hope you don't mind, but let's start with the product. The first thing I've used up, it's got Garnier Skin Active Miseral Cleaning Wipes. Now I love the water, I already have like it here, but I tried the this version and I do like them. I feel it's a good product. They are very wet, they also remove a lot of makeup and I do recommend them. So I like it, good. Definitely can see myself repurchasing. The next product is Sheer Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. Think in curly hair. Now I started this, um, this is my hair actually, this is how curly my hair is. After I wash it, uh, take a little bit of the gel, just press it in the hair and leave my hair to air dry or blow dry it like that. This is how my hair looks like when I don't try to make it um, straight. So I've been using this conditioner and I can see it's a very good, this moisturize and curl def defines. And I think it's a very good product. I already purchased another one. And the only thing I don't like about this product is that I use a lot of it when I wash my hair or when I use the, when I use it in my hair. I just feel like I go through this very fast. That's the same thing with the um, shampoo that I'm using. I just feel like I need to use it a lot to start my, to kind of uh, clean my hair because I have thick hair, or not thick, thin hair, but I have a lot of it. The only bad side with it is that I need to repurchase it a lot, but I do like it. I do really, really enjoy this product and I already repurchased it, so I do recommend it. Then another product for the hair that I've used up is Briogeo Scalp Re Revival. This is char charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. This is something that I saw T Tati talk about it on her channel. Mm, it smells very minty. This is a very good product. I'll definitely repurchase it. I love Briogeo's product. I really, really love. They also have this curly shampoo for the curly hair that I'm going to try uh, just to see and compare which one I like more. But I love Briogeo's product and I love this hair shampoo and I'll definitely repurchase it. I've used this uh, two, every second week, once a week, every second week uh, because I was using these products. And I don't think, think or feel you need to use it every time you wash your hair, but this lasted me a long time and I really enjoy this product. It leathers easy, it really cleans the hair, it's cruelty free and I love, love, love Briogeo as a brand, so definitely repurchase. Another hair product that I repurchased over and over again is the Kerastase Restance from, can't pronounce this name, but this is uh, the conditioner. And I love this brand. I actually like this la uh, this um, line of the products, and I'll definitely can see myself repurchasing. If you've seen other of my empty videos, you know that I repurchased these over and over and over and over again. So it's something that I used for many many months and years. So I do do like it, and I do recommend their products. Do we have more hair products? Yes, we do. Um, L'Oreal. Magic Retouch Instant Roots Conceal Concealer Spray. I really like this. Uh, I repurchased this a couple of times. I already. I also have a review on um, review a review on my channel comparing this one to. I think it was Revlon's. And the only down thing with this one is if you touch your hair when you apply this product, your hair fingers are going to get the color in it, or they're going to get the risk. I don't wash my hair every day. I, I wash my hair two times a week, so I do need to. Uh, apply this every second day and uh, I do like it it does cover my gray hair you can't really see it actually I have uh, just emptied this one so I started uh, from Kix this is Swedish brand dry shampoo 
and dark brown uh, texture spray. So I'll definitely, I'm trying to try this one, trying out this one. So I don't know how this one will work, but this is one of the good products and I will repurchase this couple of times and I'm definitely going to repurchase it again. So it's a very good. The other product that I've used up is Palmolive Natural Olive Olive and Milk Shower and Bath Cream. This lasted me a long time and I do love this brand and it does last a long time and it's something that really keeps my skin moisturized and it smells good, the skin feels good and I do do like it. So I don't think I need to talk with it a lot or talk about this product a lot, but it's just a showering uh, cream and I do like it and I do recommend it. I think it's a good one. Then I've used this candle. This is in Inicio or Inicio gingerbread. Um, this lasted me a long time. It smelled amazing and I really, really like this brand. This is uh, more affordable. Uh, it's inspired by natural and blended in USA. It says uh, the aromatic scent of made home cookies, uh, homemade cookies. Really like this brand and I do have a couple of other um, Inicio, Inicio, I can't pronounce it, but it's a good candle. Lasted me a long, long time. Then I also use this Freshesa, Freshing Showering Gel that I got in one of my subscription boxes. Actually, I think I got it, I don't know if it's Goodie Box or if it's um, Glossy Box, I can't really remember, but I've used up this. This is Vegan Formula. Um, I liked it. It doesn't, it smells nice. It's not the best smell ever, but I really liked it and I it did, did enjoy it. It looks fresh and uh, I can see myself repurchasing it if I found it in the store. Uh, it's recipe with blended of extract of rosemary, organic thyme leaves, gently cleanse your, cleansing your skin, 97% natural, natural. And I do like this is natural, Antica herboristeria. We can't pronounce it. I'm really sorry, but this is plant-based plastic too. The other product that I've tried from Biogeo, this is Rosso, Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And I did really enjoy this product. I can definitely see myself repurchasing it. It's a very good product. I don't feel like I need to talk about it a lot, but it's a very, very good product. It, let, it made my hair soft and it let, made my hair look very healthy and nice. So I do like this. I like leaving conditioning sprays and this one lasted me actually a long time. So I do do really enjoy Birgio's products. Then I had this Rituals um, food bomb and it was a really nice food bomb. I do in, did enjoy it. It smelled fresh. And I think I can see myself repurchasing this. I think I got this in one of my Christmas or December, what it's called, calendars. And I really enjoyed it. I think I will check it out if there is in other scents, but this one is very good. I like, I like, did like it. Then I also tried this dry shampoo, 100% vegan from Marianilla and I don't really like this product. Um, I don't know why, it felt like it dried my hair a little bit too much and then it got oily after just a couple of hours uh, more than it was before. So it's not my favorite product. I don't feel like it's, I like Marianilla's products, but this one didn't really work for me. I mean, it wasn't really anything special. It's there are other products that work a little bit better that are cheaper than this one. But I like there is, you can hear like a ball in it, so you can really shake the product inside properly. But I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't anything special. I bought this, not this one, but this kind of toothpaste in, when I was in Croatia two years ago. Not, not this year, but the year before. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I looked up online and I did find a website where I can purchase this to this toothpaste and I ordered it big size this is 200 grams and it lasted me a very long time the color is so uh, disgusting I mean it's like green gray it smells natural 
green gray uh, doesn't really look nice or fresh because the shade you know the toothpaste are often white but this one it had a really strange color but it's an amazing amazing toothpaste and i'm definitely going to repurchase more of these um from this brand himalaya i have other creams that i've tried out that i really really enjoy but toothpaste are very nice i'm definitely going to buy more of these and then we have let's see more <sighs> so many products that i emptied i got this in one of my subscription boxes don't remember which one this is illuminating holographic sheet mask it was nice it moisturized my skin it wasn't really holo holographic so that's if you see this one was very thick on the face and it was very moist <laughs> wet uh, mask but it felt very nice after after the mask, mask my face felt fresh and clean and really moisturized so i did enjoy this mask um, it says it brightens and firms and locks in moisture and use daily definitely i mean i just had one to try out but i can definitely see myself trying this one and purchasing this one because it was a very good mask i can't see that it's really holographic but it's a good mask then i've used up my urban decay eyeshadow primer portion I love this eyeshadow primer and it was one of my favorite. I already have a video on my channel where I reviewed many, many eyeshadow primers. This one was good. Didn't repurchase, repurchase this one. I actually repurchased another one. Where is it? Um, this one. Um, I have the box. Wet and Wild. This is Wet and Wild, long lasting, uh, only a matte matter of prime. I love this primer too. Uh, this one I can see myself repurchasing, maybe something that has a, like a base to it. This one doesn't have it, but it's a good one. I don't like the packaging, I don't like the apply, up, applicator, I really don't like it. But I really enjoy this eyeshadow primer, it made my oily eyelids not so oily during the day and also eyeshadow looking very beautiful and nice the whole day. So I really enjoy this eyeshadow primer. I know it works for some people, for some people it doesn't work, that's with makeup. If something works very good for someone, doesn't work for somebody else. Um, but I really enjoy this product a lot. Then I tried Medico C Tetra Intense Liquid Vitamin C. A very good vitamin C product. I really enjoy this. I also used the Medico uh, Refining Moisturizer Pore Minimizing Lightweight Hydration. Very, very good moisturizer this one was a really really good one it says a skin perfecting moisture moisturizer that refines pores and a resur resurface skin to leave the your complexion flawlessly matte yet perfectly hydrate infused with mandelic mandelic acid to clarify and retexture skin while natural red clover balanced oil produce production for all day shine control uh, lightweight and velvety it can be used alone or under makeup to give skin a smooth radiant finish this was a very good product for my combo skin my oily t-zone this really hydrated my face but also kept it um, in control so i don't get that oily really enjoyed this one this was a little bit over 70 dollars so it's expensive moisturizer definitely repurchase it because it's a very very good moisturizer and I got this Medico 8, I think, in my, one of my calendars uh, or it, if it was in one of my subscriptions boxes. I can't remember, but I really enjoy this product. And I can see myself repurchasing Medico uh, products again um, because I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Sorry, guys, my battery died, so I had to change my battery, my camera. But I'm back. I, where was I? Yes, I tried this Bio Effect uh, serum that I got in... Um, one on the boxes or calendar, I can't really remember. Uh, I did enjoy it. I mean, I haven't seen any big difference because this is a very small product. You get a small amount here, three milliliters, but um, I did enjoy it. I mean, it felt good. It didn't make break me out. It was nice on the skin. And I can see myself try it again, uh, maybe buy it to try it more, but I did enjoy it. Let me know down below if you if you tried Bio Effect Serum. I did like it. Didn't make, break me out, like I said. It was a good one. 
then the other product that I got in one of my subscription boxes was Clinique's All About Eye, Eye Cream and I did enjoy it. I did use it every day and it also made my under eyes more um, healthy looking, not so dry and I can see myself repurchasing it again or oh, not again, I didn't buy it, I did get it in one of the sus subscription boxes but it means I did buy it, doesn't matter. I can see myself try this one again and use it again because it was a good, good cream. I did use this during the day and during the night I did go in with this uh, Midnight Recovery Eye from Kyle's, Kills, Kyle's, can't pronounce the brand, but uh, this one is a little bit, um, how to say, heavier or more, it felt like it's more like a night cream for eye, under eyes, while, while this one felt more thin and also more moisturizing um, and it felt like more a cream for day time. So I did like it and I can see myself buy the full size. And then I did use uh, the Lash and Brow Enhancer from Amipure. If you watched or was, if you were subs old subscriber from at least two years ago, you know that I really like Amapure's products. Now, I've used this for over two months. I don't know guys, I can't say it really worked. Not for me, I've seen people, my friends using this product and it worked wonderful on them. Their eyelashes got long, their eyebrows also grow very nice, but for me it really didn't do anything special or actually anything. So I do have a full size of this product. Do you want it? Do you want that product? Let me know down below. If you do, if you're interested, try it yourself. I can send it to you. Uh, you do don't need to be my subscriber, of course. But if you want to try this product, please let me know down below. Um, I've seen people using it and it worked wonderful for them. It didn't actually work for me, if I have to be honest. But I do have a full size product. If you're interested, please let me know down below. But I can send it to you. But for me, I don't know. It really didn't really work. Then I got this All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. I mean, I know people love this setting spray, but I've tried it many times before. And when I got this, I first thought that I would give it away, but then I said, okay, I will try it again because people are liking it. I'm not really into it. I gave it a chance and I'm still not into it. So this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, it's not really, it's not really special. It's not the best. I really, really like the, oh, what is it called? I think Lancome's that I've used Setting Spray. That one is so good, but this one, I don't know. I mean, I can see myself try it again, but it's just nothing. It doesn't really keep my oils in control the whole day. Not as long as I would like it to. Okay, I have promised three more things. Three more things and I'm done. Then I got in one of my subscription boxes, this or it was in my calendars, it doesn't matter. Decor NL1FT, Instant Correcting Serum. Oh my God. This is the first time I heard about this brand. And here you get 10 milliliters. This lasted me a very long time, really long time. This is a very good serum. I can definitely try this again. It's a very good serum. It feels like an expensive serum, um, but I can see myself purchasing this. I feel I, I didn't check it out, so I'll definitely will do that because I'm interested to see uh, what, how much it costs and what it actually does. But this made my skin very firm, very fresh, and it made my makeup look nice. So I did like this uh, serum a lot. I can see myself buying it. I just have so many serums standing here waiting for me to try them. So that's why I'm not purchasing it right now. Then I got this Amica Receipt Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. Uh, it reminds me of this product, also for the scalp, and I mean, it, it was a good product. I did have to use it a lot, so this lasted me maybe just two times. I mean, it's a sample size, but it didn't make anything like 
like this, um, like the, like the shampoo from Bourgeois. I mean, this was a nice product, but I can't see myself buying it again. Though I'm very curious to try more products from Emika. Uh, they sound they sound good, but this one, this product, it did work, but it's nothing. You know, like wow, I need to have it. Like that uh, dark uh, Sebastian dark oil that I tried and loved. So this was um, nice to try. And then last but not least, I've used my Huda Beauty setting powder in cupcake. Okay, cupcake. It's one of my favorite setting powders. I used it that much that I wanted to get everything out, so I made a hole in it. And this was one of the best. There went a little bit of the powder. This was the best setting powder ever. Now I know people, some people love it, some people don't like it because it's, it has a scent in it, but I mean, it. I feel like some people are very ex exaggerating and make it sound like it, it smells very strong. It doesn't smell very strong. It does smell, but it smells like the Nikia Joyce powder or Jeffree Star's powder. I mean, it has a scent, but it's not overwhelming. The setting spray, it's too much. It's giving me headache. I still have it. Don't use it. It's a very good setting spray. It's one of the best, but it does give me headache. But I really enjoy this. I do have in one other, in another shade. Let me find it. I have it in this shade. This is the um, sugar cookie. It's white. So I'm definitely going to go through this one now. Uh, but I really enjoyed the cupcake. Cupcake is very nice and can definitely see myself buying this one again. Definitely buy this one again. I like it. Guys, that was everything. I mean, I went through, through so many products this month and I'm very happy that I had products that I really liked and products that I really didn't like. Some products made me curious to try more. Uh, some breads I'm very curious about to look into. And this is what I like about these, uh, these empty videos. I like watching them myself because I learn so much about a product. It kind of makes this real picture about the product when somebody tells you what they think about it, if it did work or not work. I didn't go into details about any product because it, it will make this video too long. So if you're interested about any of these products, please let me know down below and I'll give you my full review or my full thoughts about it. But so far, I think I did a good job about using up these products. If you're interested to see more of my more of me, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and um, ring the bell. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.